What's up guys? Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay updated with our videos. Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today we are going to do the Sybil. So today I'm going to do teach you the Sybil, the function and the working of Sybil. So before starting, we have a proper course on JIB on Bank Exam Studies mobile application. We have proper test series notes in the video classes. So a link to join is available in the description. So first of all, what is Sybil? The full form of Sybil is Credit Information Bureau India Limited. Uh, this is very important question. So student Sybil is a central database. You can say Sybil is a kind sort of central database in which the various banks who are the clients of Sybil, they submit uh, their database. They submit their, you know, data related to the uh, their borrowers, right? The people who took the loan from these banks. What these banks are doing is at the end of the every month, they submit a monthly report to the Sybil's database, right? So based upon these reports, the Sybil makes, uh, you know, Sybil gives credit scores. Sybil gives credit scores to all the individuals in the country, right? Based upon their PAN number, right? So there can be Mr. A whose Sybil score is 60, 650. I mean, the further the Sybil scores uh, varies from 300 to 800 so let's start what are the functions of Sybil so Sybil takes pride in having the topmost credit information sharing in India so Sybil shares the information uh, the credit history of the customers uh, credit history of the you know borrowers of banks so there are various tools the so consumer credit information tool uh, first of all let me show you this so this is actually I took this uh, uh, you know illustration from Sybil's official website there are various banks and lenders who are the uh, clients of Sybil they submit their monthly credit records submission of monthly credit records to the Sybil's database so whenever you know a customer or a uh, any anybody any borrower uh, comes to the bank or a lender with a new application fresh application then the these banks and lenders will check the credit history of such person in the Sybil's database because what Sybil does is based upon this uh, this sub, uh, this uh, monthly record Sybil's give a credit score to each and every individual right so I have already told you from 300 to 800 uh, Sybil's give the scores right so if the score is let's say I mean anything above 750 750 to 800 record is actually this uh, this score is good if somebody's score is let's say 400 the bank is going to reject reject that application so let's say uh, there is a person who took a loan from hdfc right he took a loan of hd from hdfc uh, he took a loan of 1 crore rupees from hdfc and he defaulted it so the case is in the court of law then the same person went to sbi and he asked for a loan of let's say 1 crore again so if there is no central database then how it is even possible for SBI to know about uh, this default so there is Sybil whenever such person comes to the SBI that person will provide his IDs his Aadhaar card his Aadhaar number his PAN then the, uh, the SBI will uh, you know feed this data into the Sybil's database and his all his credit history will come out then as we will come to know about yes you have already defaulted the one crore rupee loan of hdfc so we cannot provide you the loan so there will be an informed decision right and it will be more efficient so what are the there are various tools of consumer credit information it is an important tool used by the credit grantor at the time of new customer acquisition Portfolio review provides a credit grantor with a comprehensive view of the borrower's credit relationship across the multiple lenders. So, how Sybil works? The Sybil's primary function is to collate the complete and the reliable data, the reliable credit information and make it available to its members. Very important. Sybil is a neutral service provider and has centralized database which will provide the credit information in form of reports on borrowers individual or businesses 
to its members right so not just the borrowers not just the you know not just the borrowers the civil is going to uh, you know give the credit scores to the individuals as well as the separate legal entities like the public limited companies or the private limited companies the civil is pro uh, going to provide the scores from 300 to 800 the, we call it the credit score the credit score is nothing but the credit history of that same person that person can be an individual it can be llp it can be a part a private limited company it can be a public limited company so based upon this score the banks is but the banks are going to either accept or reject the loan application so that's how the civil works very simple easy so that's all for today students i hope you like this video please uh, click the subscribe button hit the like button and if you have any kind of doubt you can you know make a comment that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye